Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here again with more NFL picks, as if you need that, but maybe you do. So this week, we're going to do week six picks, and we're going to do a slight recap and some talking as we go about what happened in week five which again included a lot of upsets to say the least just ask any green bay fan so anyway um yeah so this past week i was uh 10 and 6 which given the fact that there were a few upsets is a good thing i guess 10 and 6 for the week which puts me at 47 and 33 for the year, which is a 58.8% pick percentage on the season. So we are cruising right along. And um, yeah, I mean, 10 and 6, I got to take that. You know, the first two weeks I was 8 and 8, and then the last three weeks I've been 10 and 6, 11 and 5, and 10 and 6. So we will definitely take that, and um, I guess with that, we'll get into the games. The first game is the Thursday, October 13th game, and that is going to be the Bears and the Commanders, and the Bears are at home. And because of the fact that the Bears are at home and that neither one of these teams is really good, I am going to go with the Bears. Let's take the Bears to beat their old uh, defensive player, Ron Rivera, and get the Commanders out of here. So the Commanders are going to lose their fifth straight game, according to me. That's the world according to me, but we'll see. So let's go Bears. Yeah, the Bears. Now we get into the Sunday games, and on the Sunday first game you got is the Ravens at the Giants. Now, you know what I'm going to do in this game? Even though the Ravens came off a big divisional win against the Bengals, I'm going to go with the Giants. The Giants are at home in this game, and they just got done beating the Green Bay Packers. So I got to think that there's something there. I got to believe there's something there. And also the um, Ravens are inconsistent. And sometimes, you know, Harbaugh has a tendency to make a bad decision because he follows the analytics book to the T and, you know, that can get him into trouble. He didn't in the Bengals game near the end. And that's what helped him win the game. So maybe he's learned his lesson and maybe he hasn't. We'll see. The next one we got is the another divisional game, the Jags and the Colts. And although I thought that the Jaguars were turning the corner and they still lost last week, I am going to still stick with them. I'm going to go with the Jaguars again. The Colts, Colts are terrible. The Colts are warmed over garbage. So anyway, we're going to go with the uh, Jaguars in that game. The next one you got is uh, the Patriots and the Browns. Now, the Patriots were quite surprising last week. Did they shut out the team they played? I think they shut them out. But anyway, they were impressive in the win. And Bailey Zappi, who knew Bailey Zappi was the quarterback of the future for these guys? And really, maybe he's not. But uh, I am going to go with the Patriots in this one. We're going to take the Patriots to beat the Browns, even though the Browns do have a good cast of characters over there. And, uh, and Brissett isn't, hasn't been too bad uh, this year so far, but I'm going to still go with the Patriots. Next one you got is the, um, the Bengals at the Saints. Now, the Bengals didn't look very good. Really, the Bengals have looked kind of like, you know, like a mediocre team so far. And the Saints, 
I think had a big win last week, but we're still going to go. We're going to go with the Bengals over the Saints. Take the Bengals in that one. I'm not really sure that the Saints have arrived just yet. And really, their bus is still a far way down the road. So the next game we've got is the Buccaneers and the Steelers. Now, the Steelers looked really horrible last week. Um, but that was against uh, the Bills. So, <laughs> you know, everybody does. But, um, and the, and really, the Buccaneers weren't that impressive either. And from what I heard, they got screwed on a roughing the passer call, maybe, uh, by the other team. Uh, so, um, the, the other team got screwed on a roughing the passer call on Brady. And that's what helped them win last week. But, as close as I was to picking the Steelers with pick with uh, with that guy that new quarterback um, going for him, I am still going to go with the Buccaneers. Let's take the Buccaneers to beat the Steelers. I still think that the Buccaneers they got a great defense, even if their offense is a little sluggish, and uh, that should be able to shut down the not very good Steelers offense. You like that technical term? Not very good. Um, then you got the uh, 49ers at the Falcons. This one's a no-brainer. Let's go with the 49ers. We're taking the 49ers here. My cousin probably doesn't like that because last year I picked the 49ers to lose every week, and now I'm starting to pick them to win every week. But, um, you know, they're playing the Falcons, okay? I mean, and by the way, that's another divisional matchup. Uh, now we've got the Jets and the Packers, the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. All right, and the Packers, who got upset last week by the New York Giants. Are they going to be upset two weeks in a row by two New York teams that aren't very good? Or maybe the Giants really are very good, but the Jets still aren't. But I cannot, with the Packers at home... In Lambeau, I can't pick against the Packers. I just can't do it. The Jets, though, I think, much like I said about the Jaguars a couple weeks ago, I think the Jets are starting to they're starting to gel a little bit and play a little better football. And I'm not going to make them an automatic write-off every week, but I still don't see them beating the Packers. Next game we have is. The Vikings and the Dolphins. And the Vikings uh, beat the Bears, but they had to hang on in that game. They got out to a big lead, but then they had to hang on to win that game. But the Dolphins are in disarray. Who knew, knows who's going to be the quarterback? And apparently, if it's not Tua, they're not very good. I thought they had a supporting enough cast to win games, even if Tua wasn't in there. But apparently, that isn't the case. And the Vikings are right now leading the NFC North. So we're going to go with the Vikings. I think the Vikings can win this game. Uh, even though they're on the road in Miami, I'm going to take the Vikes on that one. The next game we have is the Panthers and the Rams. Now, I've been picking the Rams to win the last few weeks, and they've been screwing me a little bit. But they're going up against the Panthers, who are in complete disarray. They're still playing uh, Baker Mayfield, who's not very good. Their head coach just got fired, so now they have a new head coach. And they did this when they don't even have a bye week. So, yeah, they're just in complete disarray. And I got to believe that the Rams are going to pull that one out and win it, even though they have lost the last couple of weeks when I was quite sure they would win. The next game we have is the Cardinals at the Seahawks. And in this game, I am going to go with the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals have started to put it together and play some good football uh, ever since like week two, maybe three. They've been playing some good football. The Seahawks give up a lot of points, and they don't always score enough to keep pace with their offense like they did uh, against the Lions. So, you know, the Seahawks are, they're a mess defensively. 
Um, we're going to go Bills Chiefs. Now, this game is basically to anybody who knows football. This game is really a toss up. But uh, I am going to go with the Bills. I'm just going to go with the Bills just because I'm going with the Bills. Even though the Bills are on the road, I think they want, I think they're anxious to avenge that loss in the playoffs last year to Kansas City. And not only that, but Kansas City has a tendency some weeks to be flat. Like every two, three weeks, they're just flat and they have a tendency to, to be vulnerable to whoever they're playing. The Bills haven't really shown that. They have lost to the Dolphins, but they haven't really shown that they're taking their foot off the gas at all. The Sunday night game is going to be the Cowboys at the Eagles. And in this one, even though the Cowboys look undefeatable with uh, Cooper Rush at quarterback, I got to go with the Eagles. I got to go with that good defense and uh, the uh, their quarterback, um, Jalen Hurts, that guy. I mean, that dude has definitely seems to have arrived. So I'm going to go with the Eagles, even though I do like the Cowboys. I like the, the Cooper Rush version of the Cowboys, but I still don't see them beating Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, it, that's a that's a tall order. And then finally, the Monday night game, and that's going to be the Broncos at the Chargers. And in this one, I'm going to go with the Chargers. We're going with the Chargers in this game. The Broncos, they, I mean, they're what are they like two and three, and they're the worst two and three team you'd ever see in your life. Not that two and three is good, but they really should be like zero oh and five. But they're two and three. So, um, yeah, I, I got to believe the Chargers are going to um, uh, rise up and overcome and, and win in that game. So that is all the games because there are buys for four teams. And those four teams are the Lions, the Texans, the uh, Raiders, and the Tennessee Titans are all on buys this week. So what did you guys think? Do you like my picks? Do you think I'm out of my mind insane? Um, leave the differences that you've got maybe with some of the games that I had or even leave your complete list of games or, you know, some sort of comment. Even to say I'm crazy insane. You can even do that. I don't care. So that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.